um, it really is a gift and um, you know exactly when to, to, to come in and, and, and support and say the right thing to, to pass through that um, uh, moment of the healing, I guess, you can call it, um, when you're purging either pain or, or something. And, you, and you, you're sort of stuck there for a moment, not knowing what, what to do from there. And then you come in intuitively, um, seemingly from out of nowhere, and, um, and say the right things and, and help to transition through that. That's amazing. Tell me about, um, you mentioned, I was at your, where was I? I was actually at your stomach or something, I was starting to go down the legs, and you said, I can feel behind my knees. Yeah, that's right. I could feel, um, I could feel like there was, that was the first sensation I had that somebody, almost like somebody else was touching uh -huh. me. And I could feel like somebody gripping behind the knee and sort of massaging, and then that, that spread to other areas. That where you obviously weren't massaging, mm. and um, it, that sensation of being touched by more hands than, um, than just two um, was unbelievable. It became more stronger and uh, more obvious. And there's no one else in the room. No. Just you and I. Yeah, absolutely. And then when I felt um, um, I could feel uh, somebody massaging around my arms and it was there like a flowing motion and and I could feel somebody guiding me but then I heard your voice and you were on the other side of the room and obviously nowhere near me and it was really it's hard to describe the sensation that um, it's like you're being massaged by someone who's not me. Mm -hmm. And they know exactly where to, where to touch, where the, where the pain is, where, um, what kind of a release. Where the restrictions were, yeah. not even necessarily pain, just restrictions, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Just um, calm. Mm -hmm. um, Is that normal for you? No. no. It's very calm. Relaxed. And, uh, it was very, very powerful um, feeling at the end when I could feel the, the pain um, just leaving my body. And, to recover from that, <laughs> um, but it was it was amazing. It can't be described. The, the feeling you just have to experience it and go with it. Yeah, they're new experiences, so you've never had an a, 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 an opportunity to to be there. So mm. those words out there, because we typically describe things with when we relate to other experiences, yeah. and we use those words, don't we? Yeah, that's right. There's no reference. No reference point, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And when I was holding your toes, you mm. said you could feel that energy flowing all the way up your body and back down again in that cycle. Yeah, that became stronger. And I could feel it like a like a pulse, like the waves at, at a beach. It was sort of going to the toes and then coming back, and then going back to the toes and then coming back. It was like a, a pulse. Mm -hmm. And throughout the whole body through the legs, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely, and all you were doing was you were just touching my toes. Just touching your toes. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, then you felt as if there was a being wrapping itself around you, is that right? Yeah, I could feel... Um, and you were embracing them back. Yeah, 
Yeah, it was. Okay. Um, it was like. Um, uh, uh, an interplay with someone who wasn't there, but it was like a, it was like a being, and I could feel it was a flowing. It was physically there yeah, for you. Yeah, it was you, like though. a physical. I could feel in my hands. I could feel right. something. Mm. It's like there was something resting in in the palms of my hands, and they were flowing. Um, so it d definitely was something. And again, I heard your voice, and you weren't anywhere near there. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, but it was pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. And when you had some pulses, there were different pulses in different parts of the body simultaneously, weren't they? It yeah. wasn't the same feeling all the way through the body. It was different areas awakening. That's right. At different stages. Yeah. And then starting to live. Would that be? Yeah. The, I, at, the, at, at one point, I didn't feel my top and lower I uh, didn't feel connected, and I could feel a sensation in my uh, the tingling in my arms and hands, uh, but not as much in my legs. But then that seemed to change, and then I could feel more of a, a, a flow through to my legs. And then that tingling um, in the arms subsided and it moved somewhere else, and it was like um, um, it was flowing with where it needed to, to go, almost, and like multiple. Hands. So talking about releases, mm. how is your neck and shoulders at the moment when you realize? Yeah. Can you feel that the difference in freedom? Yeah. Um, I used to um, um, have a very restricted motion in especially in my right shoulder. Mm -hmm. That's better. Mm -hmm. um, Do you feel that tension in the neck that you really No, it feels it feels um, feels relaxed. Yeah. Um, and um, whereas before it was quite quite tight and, and, and sore, so that feels much more relaxed and free. Mm -hmm. And that was not through my physical application mm. of technique. It was through the source beings yeah. that worked with you. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. They did all the work. Yeah. And I was just. Hanging around, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guiding you through every now and again when you kind of got overwhelmed at times. Yeah. 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 Um, but at the same time, they were taking you where you asked them. Now, do you want to talk about that? Yeah. The the, the things that um, went through my mind and when because no one took you over and did things to you. No. You li literally. Ask them for what you wanted. Well, when I realised what was happening, that mm. this was, um, I started to let go, and I started to accept what was happening, mm -hmm. and I, you know, in my mind, I said things like, um, "I love you, and I want to be loved, and um, I'm strong, and you know, this is when they were working on areas of pain." I said. This is my pain. Take it away, but you know, I, I feel it. I accept it, and and and, and let it go. And, um, and is that I when just, you went into that strong release? Yeah, the, uh, that that, was that really happened. That yeah, that happened a couple of times mm. with the with the other releases, but um, um, the the one at the end that was most powerful, and that was started at my shoulder and mm -hmm. um, and that was a that was a powerful release and um, um, at that stage I was just accepting what was uh, what was happening and because um, all you needed to do was ask once yeah, you didn't have that's to keep right. asking yeah. they heard you yeah. and you trusted them yeah and, and then it them. started to happen yeah so when I said you know I accepted and I wanted it to happen then um, it started to happen more, mm. and there was sort of more focused intent with the, um, the healing, you know. And um, and then when I was, as you said, a bit overwhelmed, they'd back off and uh, let me sort of recover a little bit from that, I guess. And, uh, yeah, very, very powerful. And there were times you'd be overwhelmed and 
you were almost frozen in that space. Mm. And when I guide you through yeah. to connect back to the softness of you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It, um, it, 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 with that release, you almost don't know where to go with it and what to do mm. when you sort of almost stop breathing. And then when you come in and, and say what to do, um, it was a perfect time to, to find that release. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. <laughs> Go ahead, sorry. Um, yeah, the, the, uh, the times when um, when I, I didn't know where to go with it and there didn't seem to be a resolution, you came in at the right time with uh, uh, just a gentle touch or a word and helped to um, release and push through that release and uh, and I want work to just that. clarify that a bit. Yep. There was no need to push through, was there? No, no. It no. just so let's take that like word a, back. Yes. <laughs> okay. Because we're used to pushing through everything, yeah, aren't we? Yeah. So that and, and it's very important that we, we talk about this now. Yeah. No. It was all. It, it, it all just happened. Exactly. So but, no, no. I want you to remember this mm. for the future, because we're always used to making things hard and mm. healing the hard way, you know, and working out the hard way, mm. and pushing through relationship issues the hard way, mm. whereas. It just flowed, mm. didn't it? Yeah. So when I came in and touched you and I created that, instead of, well, in a sense, you, you, I guess you would have been using the word push through, perhaps you were pushing through, mm. and that's where you were stuck. Mm. Yeah, perhaps, yeah. yeah. And, and when you guided me through that, um, I relaxed. Yeah. Yeah, and it and just let continued. It, and let it flow through and, and right. come to a resolution. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, they were wrapping their arms around you, weren't they? Or they were doing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was like a like a flowing massage. You know? mm -hmm. And um, it was like I was moving my arms on my own, but I wasn't. I really felt I could feel somebody. It actually happening energetically, yeah. however, at the same time, the arms were moving physically. That's right. With no effort, with no pressure, with no resistance. Yeah, right? absolutely. Uh -huh. um, so I, I, I was on one level aware that my arms were moving around and you weren't doing it, mm -hmm. and I wasn't doing it, and, um, um, and but there was obviously the feeling of. of Something, someone holding my arm mm -hmm. and, and moving it. Mm -hmm. 